and pat that wall right now. seven members. I had stood up at this meeting like you folks are and said, where did we get the eighth member from? Mr. McClay stood up. A lot of people stood up and said, where? Those people never got an answer. And that was wrong. And when we were seated on the board, when we went in the back for executive session and met with the board for the first time in a meet and greet and came out here and prepared to take our public oath, we were surprised to see a ninth board member back there. It's an individual who I've happened to know for the last 20 years, and I said, what's he doing here? And a board member who has departed this board said, he's your ninth board member. And I said, when did that happen? And they said, it just happened, deal with it. So that's the way this board was run last year. That is wrong, and that will never, ever, ever happen again. Things that happen on this board will be done. We will have discussions in the back. Whenever we make a decision collectively, we're at six right now, we're getting back to seven. Whenever we make a collective decision regarding anything, it will be done out here, it will be done via resolution, and it will be done by a voice vote so everybody in this audience knows where this board stands. Those days need it to end. And if I could comment on the board, that's my comment on the board. I don't know if anybody else had anything yeah. to say. John, I don't disagree with any of that. I just think, um, I think that that's great. I think you're absolutely right. I think that's the way a board should run uh, with transparency. I, I just think that um, when it comes to key personnel, uh, you know, somebody who's, who's majorly influential on the direction of this school, uh, I, I don't know that seven people or six people Unilaterally, I think should should make that decision. Uh, that, that's all. I, so I, I again, I don't. I mean, that's I agree. maybe that maybe that's the way a board's supposed to run. But I think that there's a lot more to consider than the opinions of six when it comes to the decision of key personnel. That, and that is exactly thing. why we're having that discussion here tonight. Um, uh, one more thing, uh, collectively considering that there is a lot more teachers and administrators and they are of the board, do they not have more important say than just a few of you? I mean, you said that this, that, you know, the decision of that to come in June when his contract is up and privately the board will either continue his track or his contract I didn't say or not. Privately. I could have sworn I heard privately so. No, I said the discussions will happen in private. Any resolution as to official board action will occur out here. Can I, um, you, I'm sorry, I don't like you. What is your name again? Um, you made a comment that your son is sensing over um, participation of the board in day-to-day -day activities. And I'm not exactly sure how he would get that sense unless administration and staff are talking about it because these people so no, I'm not I, I sure how so I need to comment on that because people have really talked a lot about support and I'm not talking against that what I'm saying is if your son senses presence of the board during the day they're getting it from staff because the board's not here during the day and if they are they're coming in because there's a bomb threat in the bathroom or there's something going on. I'm going to ask you a question. 
And I'm going to say that no, 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 I'm not talking. I'm sorry, but it's my turn, if you don't mind. But is it our turn to talk to the board? No, it's my turn to address. I'm asking. I don't want you to talk to the board. Right, the director is here. So, try to finish. No, director, hold on. Let's actually go towards the board to other parents. Wait, wait. Wait a minute, let her finish. Oh, oh. So can I finish, please? I just want to make sure it's done right. That's all. It's my first time at a board meeting. Mr. Anna Rita, we'll make sure it's done right. Let her finish talking and then you can speak. Direct it to us, please. Okay. You were allowed to talk to others. Mr. Anna Rita, no. we will control the meeting. No reason. So this is okay then? Mr. Anna Rita, we will control the meeting. So this is okay then? Yes. No. Thank you. Marie, direct your so, comments on the um, board. Um, because I'm not rude. And I just want to acknowledge that you made that comment. Thank you. Um, so if a child has a sense of unease, I'm going to sense that it's going to come from those that are around that child. So if on two occasions my husband has had to sit my son down since he's been on this board and say, Matthew, if anyone ever comes to you and makes a threatening comment, makes you feel uncomfortable, I need you to take yourself to Miss Simmons and I need you to tell her to please call me directly. Now, my son's been here since kindergarten. I actually am very happy with most of my son's education. And there are people in here that I value above life itself for being a fantastic team and I can point around this room and I can tell you many of them okay and I value everybody in this room okay I talked to him and said you don't want to do this you know why because you're not going to change this and it's going to threaten our family and it's going to take a lot away from our family and I don't think it's worth it I wanted to pull them take them somewhere else. You want to know why? Because I've got a special ed kid who does typical classrooms and I can't get to a regular ed teacher to save my life. They push me off on the special ed teacher. I can't even get a parent teacher conference unless I take a day off. He takes a day off and we sit here and wait for people's prep periods. And if my son needs to have a safety place in this place because someone, someone here, breaches confidentiality. And my husband gets phone calls that I overhear that take over eight to 10 hours a week. I love this place and my kid has been taken care of well by this woman and this woman and this woman and this woman and that woman and many people in this room. But if my son needs a safe place, why is that? And if you people are here, why is that? Right, you care, I care. You know, you're absolutely right. I'm absolutely oh, right. Oh, and you want to know what? Right. All I want is to play. stop. Play. Let me finish one yeah. comment and no, I'll stop. And do you know, yourself. sir, the court, up here, do you know why please. I'm here? Because I came to a back to school night when Matthew was in eighth grade. I came to a back to school night and I asked one question. And that question, two questions. I said, what's the average? And that man right there is very important to my son. And I asked the question, what is the average SAT score and what is the average college acceptance rate? If anybody knows anything about schools, you pick where you live based on whether the school's a blue district, school district. Does anybody know what that is? Yeah. Right? They look at college acceptance or trade school or two-year college acceptance and they look at SATs because people, that's what they look at. Do you know that it question could not be answered at that meeting? You couldn't answer the question. So all I said is if you can't answer it, what's the answer? Just find me the answer. This quest is, what's the answer? That's all. What's the answer? And that's what started this. But all I know right now is there is something that, that trickles out of this group in this school where my kid needs a safety place that's not right that's not right this i don't i don't um, want this anymore i i see where marie's going with this and i really don't want to bring this up tonight 
But I'm going to tell you guys something because this is really personal with me. Since my son's involved with scouts, with this man, my son comes home every week with something else that he overhears him saying concerning board functions. And I'm tired of it. Sick and tired of it. I'm tired of it. Yes. Yes. George obviously says things around other people. Luke picks it up, brings it home to me. I'm tired of hearing it. Okay. So well, confidentiality is being broken. That's where it's starting at there, too. So okay. the way I look at that, I have been elected by the parents. I'm responsible to talk to parents when they ask me questions. Are there confidentiality information? Absolutely not. Is it my opinion? Absolutely yes. Okay. Last Friday, openly said, right in front of them, we're getting rid of Larry because he makes too much money. No. Yes. I said, oh, okay, well, you weren't there, Mr. Mr. Oh, Sam, was standing in front of me working on the track as I volunteered with the Boy Scouts. I said, I am not in favor of bringing Larry Sperling back. That shouldn't be said with a bunch of kids in a scout environment. I'm speaking, excuse me, I am speaking to other parents in front of Jill. Excuse me, Mr. Palin. Let's not go with how, where your history goes. I think I Please keep your comments, both people on the board and out there in the audience, to issues, broad issues regarding the school. Do not talk about any personnel issues, either anybody on the board or anybody out there. Thank you. I have to say something. I still haven't gotten an answer about what Why would my son right. well, have to say something like that? I think we should handle that. Okay? No. We what? want to hear it too. What are you talking about? We want to hear well, it. I know. I, I think no. this needs to no. stop. No, we want to hear yeah. it. We'll talk after you. We'll talk after me. No. 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 I think that is not a board issue. I think that was an inappropriate that board comment. That's your thought. He brought it up. He should answer. Well, as the chairman he of this meeting, I'm he saying he's answer. out of order. Answer. I'm saying he's out of order. Does anybody else have anything else on their new business? I just want to say something. My son would not come home and say something like that if it wasn't true that he heard that. Okay. And I, I really don't, I can't believe that you would even say that my son would even make something up. I didn't say you made it up. But you're That's saying true. that by saying that you did not say that. Yeah. And that's not right. My son's a very good boy. And I honestly believe everything he tells you. So you brought that up outside of your board member meeting. And that's not right. But things like that shouldn't be discussed. Hold on. I think some inappropriate things just happened here for several reasons. I think we need to move on. I think we also need to be cognizant that we're all grown-ups here and that there are also children present in the room. So let's keep our comments to that, okay? On the new business, I'm sorry. Yes, David Brown, history teacher. You mentioned that um, you wanted us to direct broad questions to you. So I actually have one simple broad question, and I do appreciate all your time. I, I, I know this, this meeting has gotten combative. I just want to say that I respect everyone's opinions, and I respect the fact that we're all here to try and make the school better for kids, and sometimes those ambitions run into each other, right? So my, my only broad question is, is do you not see, in a broad sense, that this school is, has and is experiencing tremendous growth and is on an upward arc as uh, Mr. Anarino has described. Do you guys not see that as well, or do you see it going in a bad way? Not in terms of how the board is structured um, and transparency and PO boxes. I'm not talking about anything like that. I'm talking about the organization itself. Do you guys not see it as experiencing tremendous growth at the moment? If I could speak personally, it's not, not on behalf of the whole board. My feeling is as follows. Um, I know some individuals were not here 
when we had problems. But we are who we are. We're never going to change who this school is. We're never going to change collectively what we went through as an organization. This is my belief, and I'll state it publicly. My belief is this. My belief is that in 2008, we came to a screeching halt. And thanks to some people who stood up at board meetings and held board, boards accountable and basically threw a board out of this school, um, this school is in existence today. Um, and I think that we never forget that. I think that we had to rebuild at a certain point and we had to stop in our tracks and stop exactly where we are, where we were, and rebuild this school and make sure that this school was still open. And I, my personal opinion is not, I'm not speaking as the board now, my personal opinion is that we are still in that mode and we need to move forward and we need to begin moving again. That's my personal opinion. And what, and what evidence points to that in terms of, in terms of any academic? Uh, this is a phenomenal school. The teachers are great. The staff is great. The students are phenomenal. It's been a great school for my three kids, my two children who left here and one of the other schools. It's a phenomenal school for my child, especially. The school, in my mind, I, and we are not, I, we, and, and I'll be frank, in some of our discussions, I've heard other schools thrown around. I've heard Mass thrown around. I've heard First Tech Co. thrown around. I've heard New Foundations thrown around. We're not any of those places. We are PACs, and we need to be PACs, and we need to be the best PACs we are. And that's, that's where I'm at. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, uh, my name's Joe Stewart. Um, I guess I have an incredibly unique <coughs> perspective here tonight. I'm not only a parent, but I spent eight years as Senator Stack's Chief of Staff. So I was his Chief of Staff during the period of time that this school went through incredible turmoil. I worked directly with the administration next year prior, the boards that were here prior. I was happy to see the boards change. And I think that I'm thrilled for having my four kids in this school, for having one or two rather that have graduated from oh my God, three that graduated <laughs> from the grade school, one that's graduated from the high school. So I do have an incredible, incredibly different perspective, right? I come as a parent, but I've seen all the things that have happened, all the changes that have occurred. We had incredible problems, right? My oldest, um, some of the folks Ms. McClay was talking about, her child has special needs. My oldest has uh, ADHD, she had her IEP. She, this school took her under their wing, and when my daughter got accepted to two colleges, I cried my eyes out that night. And as a single parent, that was the most incredible feeling I've ever felt. And it was because of this school. It was because of what happened here. And it was because of the changes that people were willing to make, although they were extremely hard to make. And I actually applaud you guys, seriously, because I think it's great to see parents want to be involved. I remember some of the meetings, although I never attended an awful lot of the meetings. I remember some of the meetings where you, John, would stand up and you would make your point. And I always thought that that was a great thing because what it showed me was that you care. And the bottom line is I'm thrilled to have people on the board that care because prior, I often thought to myself, who are these people? What do they have a stake in this school? You know, I will tell you that if it wasn't for the administration here and for these teachers, that we wouldn't have a school the way we have it right now, right? We, we, we should all feel incredibly lucky I'll tell you a story about the very first time I met Larry Sperling in his capacity here. My daughter came here again. She had an IEP, right? I'm Senator Stack's chief of staff. I make a phone call. I have to have a meeting, just like everybody else does, just like you said, Mr. Clay. So we had to have a meeting because there was an IEP meeting that supposedly happened, really didn't happen. I wasn't sure, quite frankly. I meet Larry Sperling. And he played hard line. Larry said, here's what we have to do. This is the way the rules work. And he didn't care if I was Jesus Christ himself. Larry Sperling took charge of the situation, gave no special treatment to anybody whatsoever, refused that, because what he cared about was my daughter sitting there, the one that got two, two scholarships to college, who had an IED, who I never thought she would go to school. Right? So it was because of Larry that that happened. And, and people asked how anybody 
you know, came here tonight. I came because I heard the rumors, just like I'm sure some other people. No one asked me to be here. I came here, took the time out of being a single parent, like maybe many of you guys are, and I said, I gotta be there because he was there for my kids, right? I still have two kids here, one in the grade school, one in the high school. I love this school. And I think that everybody sitting in this room loves this school, including you guys. And going back to what, what Mr. Brown had said, I hope everybody takes into consideration what they see, the growth. Because again, I'll give you my other unique perspective. When I sat in the senator's office, when we watched what was happening previously, when we watched the, the despicable behavior of the board that was here prior, right? Not the most recent board, but the previous board to that. And when we watched that stuff, I watched the SRC, I watched the Department of Education come in. And you know what they did? They said, here you go, he's a good guy. Let's pick him. Out of everybody that they interviewed, out of everybody that they looked into, they said, there's a guy that can handle this job. He did it because he has a personality that can handle it. He did it because he's got the education that can handle it. He's got the temperament. The kids love this man, right? And I'll tell you this, I'm not an educator. And I don't know if any of you are educators. Right. I say let the education to the educators. That guy's an educator. We're lucky to have him. That's my opinion.